Midday over Sicily, daylight vanishes as Mount Etna releases a plume of ash so dense it grounds planes and forces towns on alert. This is no rare event. Etna is the most active volcano in Europe, a UNESCO World Heritage giant looming above Catania. But what makes this volcano erupt with such persistence, and how much danger does it truly pose to the communities and lives below? The answers begin here. Mount Etna rises from the eastern edge of Sicily, its slopes casting a long shadow over the Catania Plain. The volcano's massive cone stands just inland from the Ionian coast, dominating the skyline for nearly a million people who live and work beneath its gaze. The city of Catania, a bustling port and economic hub, stretches outward from the base of the volcano its streets and neighborhoods following the contours of ancient lava flows. Towns like Nicolosi, Zafarana Etnea, and Ghiare cluster along the lower slopes, while villages such as Milo and Lingua Glossa nestle higher up, close to the shifting boundaries of the mountain's forests and lava fields. This region is shaped by more than just Etna's eruptions. The volcano's presence determines where people build, how they farm, and even which roads remain open during periods of unrest. The plain below the summit is one of Sicily's most densely populated corridors, with highways and rail lines connecting Catania to Messina and the rest of the island. The coast runs just a few kilometers from the base of the volcano, and sea breezes can carry ash and gas from the summit directly into the city. On clear days, Etna's peak is visible from as far away as Syracuse, but when the winds shift, ash can blanket communities miles from the craters. The pattern of settlement here is a direct response to the mountain's risks and rewards. Fertile volcanic soils support vineyards, orchards, and grain fields, but every generation faces the reality that new lava or ash could disrupt daily life. The proximity of homes, schools, and hospitals to the volcano means that even a minor eruption can have immediate consequences. During major events, roads leading up the mountain are often closed, and residents may find their routines upended by falling ash or redirected traffic. Catania's international airport, built on the coastal plain, is especially exposed to changes in wind and plume direction a fact that has forced repeated closures in recent years. The relationship between Etna and the communities below is both practical and precarious. The mountain shapes the land, the weather, and the economy, but it also demands constant vigilance. For those living in its shadow, daily life is a balance between the opportunities the volcano provides and the risks it imposes. The map of eastern Sicily is, in many ways, a map of Etna's influence, its reach extending far beyond the summit into the fields, towns, and lives spread across the plain. Mount Etna stands among the world's most closely watched volcanoes, not only for its scale and activity, but for its global scientific and cultural value. In 2013, UNESCO recognized Etna as a World Heritage Site, citing its important ongoing geological processes, volcanic features, and landscapes. The protected area covers over 19,000 hectares, stretching from the summit's windswept craters down through ancient lava fields and forests, encompassing a living record of volcanic history that has shaped both the land and human settlement for millennia. Etna's reputation as one of the most active volcanoes on Earth is well-earned. Its eruptions have been chronicled for more than 2,700 years, longer than almost any other volcano. Ancient Greek historians wrote of fire and smoke pouring from its summit, and Roman poets described the mountain as a gateway to the underworld. Today, scientists and students from around the globe travel to Sicily to study Etna's near-continuous activity. The volcano's open conduit system allows for persistent degassing and frequent bursts of lava and ash, making it an ideal natural laboratory for understanding how magma moves, how eruptions begin and end, and how volcanic systems evolve over time. The sheer frequency and diversity of Etna's eruptions set it apart. Unlike most volcanoes, which may erupt once every few decades or centuries, Etna produces dozens of explosive episodes and lava flows each year. 
its summit craters and fissure systems are in a state of almost constant change, offering a rare chance to observe volcanic processes in real time. This ongoing activity attracts volcanologists, geologists, and hazard specialists seeking to refine eruption forecasts, test new monitoring technologies, and train the next generation of experts. Beyond science, Etna's status as a World Heritage Site brings international attention and resources to its conservation and study. The UNESCO listing supports both research and education, helping to fund projects that preserve the mountain's unique landscapes and promote public understanding of volcanic risk. Etna's influence now extends far beyond Sicily, shaping how the world studies active volcanoes and prepares for their hazards. Its slopes are a crossroads where local tradition, global science, and natural power meet, making Etna not only a Sicilian landmark, but a site of worldwide importance. Molten rock rises from deep beneath Mount Etna, traveling through a broad, open conduit that connects the magma chamber to the summit. This open pathway allows gases and magma to escape almost continuously, fueling a range of eruption styles that define the volcano's behavior. At the summit craters, bursts of activity known as Strombolian explosions are frequent. These eruptions send glowing fragments of lava, sometimes called scoria, arching tens to hundreds of meters into the air. The process is driven by gas bubbles rising through the magma, bursting at the surface with enough force to loft material high above the crater rim. Periods of more intense activity, called paroxysms, are a signature of Etna. During these episodes, fountains of lava can shoot several hundred meters, sometimes over a kilometer, into the sky. Ash and gas are carried upward by the heat, forming plumes that can reach several kilometers above the summit. The southeast crater, in particular, is known for producing these dramatic fountains and thick ash clouds. Eruptive episodes may last from minutes to hours, with the style and intensity shifting as gas pressure builds and releases. The terminology, open conduit, strombolian burst, paroxysm, captures the mechanical rhythm of Etna's eruptions, setting the stage for the visible impacts that follow. Since November 2022, Mount Etna has entered a new phase of heightened activity, drawing the attention of scientists and residents alike. The summit craters, especially the southeast crater, have produced repeated Strombolian explosions. Bursts of incandescent lava fragments that light up the night sky and scatter scoria across the upper slopes. These episodes are often punctuated by periods of intense lava fountaining, with jets rising two to three hundred meters above the rim. On several occasions, dense columns of ash have climbed several kilometers into the atmosphere, drifting on the wind and falling as fine black powder over towns like Milo, Fornazzo, and Mascali. Satellite images from June 2025 captured a dramatic scene. A thick plume billowing from the summit, darkening the sky above eastern Sicily, while fresh lava spilled into the Valle del Bove. The ground shook with volcanic tremor and pyroclastic material rained down on the flanks. Streets and vineyards were coated in ash, forcing closures of local schools and, at times, halting flights at Catania Airport. For people living on Etna's slopes, these eruptions are more than distant spectacles. They shape daily routines, from cleaning ash off rooftops to planning travel around changing hazard zones. The rhythm of the volcano is unpredictable, demanding constant readiness and adaptation from those who live beneath its shadow. Etna's summit is not a single vent, but a cluster of craters, each with its own character and history of activity. The southeast crater dominates headlines today, known for its powerful lava fountains and thick ash plumes. But it shares the summit with Bocca Nuova, Voragine, and the northeast crater, each capable of erupting with little warning. The volcano's complexity deepens with the presence of fissure systems that run like scars down its flanks. These rift zones, mapped in detail by INGV, act as hidden escape routes for magma, allowing eruptions to break out far from the summit. The most dangerous events often begin not at the top, but along these fissures, where new vents can open suddenly, sometimes within sight of homes or roads. This multi-crater and rift system means Etna's eruptions are spatially unpredictable. 
One year, lava pours harmlessly into the Valle del Bove. Another, a flank eruption sends flows toward inhabited areas, as history has shown. The mountain's shifting network of vents and cracks makes forecasting not just a matter of when, but where. The uncertainty that keeps both scientists and residents on constant alert. In the spring of 1669, Molten rock burst from a fissure on Etna's southern flank and began a relentless march toward the city below. For weeks, rivers of lava advanced, swallowing orchards, villages, and even sections of Catania's ancient walls. The flow did not stop until it reached the sea, reshaping the coastline and leaving behind a hardened scar that would define the city's edge for centuries. More than two dozen towns and hamlets vanished beneath the rock, their names preserved only in parish records and family stories. In living memory, the destruction of Mascali in 1928 stands as a stark reminder of Etna's unpredictability. Overnight, a new vent opened on the northeast slope and lava surged downslope, engulfing the town before dawn. Residents fled with what they could carry, returning days later to find nothing but smoldering ruins. Mascali was rebuilt a few kilometers away, its new streets laid out on fresh volcanic soil. A mountain guide, recalling his grandfather's stories, once wrote, Etna gives us land, but she never lets us forget who owns it. These disasters are not distant history. They are warnings etched into the landscape, reminders that every eruption carries the possibility of profound change. Every eruption at Mount Etna brings a familiar range of hazards, each with its own signature and impact on the communities below. Lava flows, often the most visible and dramatic, typically emerge from summit craters or flank fissures. While these molten rivers can advance slowly enough for people to evacuate, they have destroyed roads, farmland, and even entire towns when eruptive vents open unexpectedly downslope. Ash and tephra, carried by shifting winds, blanket rooftops and fields across a wide swath of eastern Sicily. Fine ash can clog machinery, contaminate water supplies, and force schools and businesses to close. For those living closest to the summit, ballistic ejecta, chunks of incandescent rock hurled hundreds of meters, pose a direct threat, shattering windows and damaging structures near active vents. Crater collapse events, though less common, can trigger sudden landslides or release clouds of hot gas and debris. Unlike volcanoes such as Vesuvius, Etna rarely produces true pyroclastic flows, but the risk from lava, ash, and falling rocks remains a constant concern for residents, farmers, and emergency planners alike. Volcanic ash from Mount Etna doesn't just blanket fields and towns, it brings Catania's busy airport to a standstill. When a plume rises above the summit and the winds turn south, the fallout can reach the runways in minutes. In August 2023, a sudden ash cloud forced Catania Fontana Rossa to halt all operations. The airport's operations manager recalls the moment the SIGMET alert came in. Flights were already circling and ground crews rushed to sweep black grit from taxiways. Over the next 48 hours, more than three quarters of scheduled departures were cancelled and most arrivals diverted or delayed. Pilots and airlines rely on real-time advisories, but engine manufacturers warn that even low concentrations of ash can stall turbines or erode vital parts. The decision to close the airport isn't taken lightly. Each shutdown ripples across Europe's airspace, stranding tourists, disrupting cargo, and costing millions. For the operations team, safety takes priority. Only after the plume clears and the runways are inspected does the first flight take off again. Inside a windowless room in Catania, rows of monitors flicker with real-time data from Mount Etna's slopes and summit. Here, the INGV Osservatorio Etneo team works around the clock, tracking every tremor, gas surge, and temperature spike. Dozens of seismic stations ring the volcano, each one relaying signals to the hub within seconds. GNSS sensors fixed to rocks and rooftops record subtle shifts in the ground, sometimes just a few centimeters per hour, that can warn of magma on the move. Infrasound microphones pick up the low rumbles of distant explosions, while thermal cameras scan for sudden heat signatures that might signal a new vent or advancing lava. 
When instruments cross set thresholds, like a surge in volcanic tremor or a sharp tilt in the summit, automated alerts flash on the dashboard. Duty volcanologists review the data, cross-checking signals from different sensors. If the evidence points to a new eruption or paroxysm, the team drafts a bulletin within 10 to 15 minutes, assigning a color code, yellow, orange, or red, depending on the severity. Civil protection is notified immediately, setting off a chain of decisions that can close roads, issue public alerts, or ground flights. Every step is documented and time-stamped, with staff ready to escalate or clarify as the situation unfolds. The system's speed and precision are essential, giving residents and responders the lead time they need when Etna stirs. On the lower slopes of Mount Etna, vineyards stretch across black, mineral-rich earth. The soil here is a mixture of centuries-old lava, ash, and weathered basalt, dense with potassium, iron, and trace elements that give Sicilian wines their distinct flavor. For families who have worked this land for generations, Every harvest is a reminder of the volcano's double nature. The Etna DOC region now produces some of Italy's most sought-after reds and whites, with yields that often surpass those of neighboring provinces. Each vine draws nutrients from ground renewed by past eruptions, turning volcanic risk into agricultural advantage. Yet, the same ash that feeds the soil can bury grape clusters overnight. During active periods, vineyard workers start their mornings sweeping black grit from leaves and trellises, careful to prevent damage before the sun rises. One proprietor keeps a broom by the door year-round, ready for the next fallout. The routines, checking INGV bulletins, adjusting irrigation, cleaning equipment, are as much a part of life as pruning or pressing grapes. Here, prosperity depends on reading both the sky and the mountain, weighing each season's promise against the ever-present chance of disruption. Mount Etna's summit is never quite the same from year to year. With each major eruption, the peak can gain or lose height, sometimes by several meters, depending on how much material is built up or blown away. GNSS elevation logs maintained by INGV show the summit hovering around 3,300 meters above sea level, but intense lava fountaining or crater collapse events can change that figure in a matter of days. The shape and position of the main craters shift as well, redrawing the contours of the mountain and, with them, the hazard maps used by planners and emergency services. This physical dynamism demands a flexible approach to safety. Civil protection authorities in Sicily do not rely on fixed red zones for evacuation, as is done elsewhere in Italy. Instead, Preparedness plans are tailored to the current state of the volcano, with hazard boundaries adjusted in real time based on INGV bulletins and monitoring data. Municipalities on Etna's slopes organize drills every few years, practicing evacuation routes, activating local alert systems, and coordinating with schools and hospitals. These exercises are designed to match the most likely threats, lava advancing from a new flank vent, ashfall disrupting daily life, or sudden vent opening near populated areas. The culture of readiness here is built on adaptation, with protocols that can shift as quickly as the mountain itself. For residents and responders alike, staying prepared means staying alert to the volcano's ever-changing shape and mood. Mount Etna rises more than 3,300 meters above Sicily's eastern plain, its activity documented for centuries and formally recognized by UNESCO in 2013 as a site of global geological importance. Historical records confirm that eruptions like those in 1669 and 1928 reshaped towns and coastlines, while recent events, such as the August 2023 ash fallout that closed Catania Airport, demonstrate that Etna's impact is ongoing and immediate. Despite detailed monitoring by the INGV Osservatorio Etneo, including near real-time bulletins and hazard maps, scientists cannot predict exactly when or where a major flank eruption will occur. What is certain, Etna's summit and slopes continue to change, supporting fertile agriculture but also demanding constant readiness from local communities and authorities. The evidence shows that Mount Etna is both a laboratory for volcanology and a living force shaping daily life in Sicily, its future eruptions certain but their timing and scale always uncertain.